This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, reporting tonight from Normandy. Good evening. When they were young, on a terrible dank day, 70 years ago today, they dropped into the woods in parachutes. They flew overhead in warplanes, and wave after wave of them ran onto the beach, despite withering German machine gun and artillery fire raining down on them from above. It was an enormous gamble. They paid a staggering price. Just under 10,000 souls rest in eternal peace here behind us, some of them right where they died. Yet their efforts turned the tide in the war and helped to save the world. It was a beautiful day here today, made more beautiful by how many of them made it back. One more trip to Normandy for the men who already took it once. Years ago, Tom Brokaw gave the whole bunch of them the perfect title, The Greatest Generation. Here today, Tom was back as well to witness this 70th reunion. This is why we're here. Here above the beaches of Normandy, just beyond the water. That brought liberty at a great sacrifice. For those who survived that day, and for so many others, this is a journey of honor and remembrance. To honor their fallen friends and remember 70 years later. But it is not just the veterans who honor the sacrifices here. A new generation of leaders takes up the call. We tell this story for the old soldiers who pulled themselves a little straighter today to salute brothers who never made it home. We tell the story for the daughter who clutches a faded photo of her father, forever young. Gentlemen, I want each of you to know that your legacy is in good hands. And the president reminded us that their legacy goes beyond the fighting to the costly time in their young lives. They left home barely more than boys, returned home heroes. But to their great credit, that is not how this generation carried itself. After the war, some put away their medals, were quiet about their service, moved on. But before they could go home, there was Normandy. There had never been anything like it before, and there never would be again. What more powerful manifestation of America's commitment to human freedom than the sight of wave after wave after wave of young men boarding those boats to liberate people they had never met? And a command from the Commander-in-Chief. Whenever the world makes you cynical, stop and think of these men. Whenever you lose hope, stop and think of these men. So many of these veterans will not be around for the 75th anniversary. Their lives are coming to a close, but their legacy can never be dimmed.